When I'm in the mountains, this is where I feel the most alive. This is where I crave to be. Welcome to Lake Tahoe, California. We're pretty close to the ocean and we get some epic storms. It's been fun. It's always a good day when I'm getting the snowboard. Every day and everything I do is do with the thought of training and preparation for the next thing coming. Goals and intentions to get faster, to get more consistent, to get stronger. What do you call that? From a young age, when I was afraid of something, I wanted to conquer it. Every day that I come out here and I ride my snowboard, I give gratitude to my life for still being here. After being hit by a, an SUV and being just laid out on the side of the road, bleeding to death, and almost having my life taken from me, first thing I think is like, wow, I can't believe I was there. Like, I was, I was in that experience. Like, I was in like that hell. It's definitely very painful to watch those home videos. I'm trying to do that heel to toe thing. It's uh, definitely very hard to see yourself in such a vulnerable place. <laughs> but I believe that my strength comes from my vulnerability. Wow, that's a smoother walk. Huh? Having that perspective has made living so much more flavorful, brighter, more intense. I feel more alive because of that experience. Gotta have all my tools with me. All my snowboard gear, skateboard comes everywhere I go. Suitcase full of clothes. So when I go crash on people's couches, I can uh, stay fresh. <laughs> I got a high activity foot for the weight of a 400 pound person. This one will move and act under 160 pounds of walking horses. But when you're snowboarding, that 160 pounds turns into sometimes 800 pounds. It's just another extension of my equipment. You dial out your snowboard, you dial out your boots. I just have to dial out my legs, so. Every day for me, the definition of champion changes, it evolves. A champion, somebody that can get down in the nitty gritty and work hard, it hurts sometimes. It's not fun, it's painful, it's, it makes you want to cry sometimes, but that you keep persevering even in those places to keep being authentic to yourself and to keep living up to your dreams and your goals. That's what a champion is to me right now.